Hi guys, in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to connect MySQL database with Microsoft Texas. So for that, what you need to do, you need to first install MySQL ODBC connector. So in order to do that, first of all, I need to open the Google search bar and I will write MySQL uh, ODBC connector, ODBC driver, and I'm going to click this link okay in order to download this uh, mysql odbc driver uh, operating system is windows this is the latest version that i'm going to download and then later install okay i'll click download and then i'm going to click no thanks just start my download so this is going to start the download process this will take few seconds to complete okay just wait for a while okay it has been completed now I'm going to click, double click this uh, MySQL connector and then click next in order to install this. I accept the terms and condition next. Okay, I'm going to install a typical version. So click next and then this is where it will be installed. So then I will click install and this will start the installation process. Okay. Uh, now the installation process has been completed click finish okay so next what I need to do I need to go in the search bar and I will type ODBC data source now I need to create a new ODBC data source in order to uh, connect my SQL 2 to Microsoft Access so I will go in the system DSN and I will create a new uh, system data DSN okay so I will select the driver MySQL ODBC 9.2 Unicode driver click this and click finish okay okay data source name this could be any name so I will type MySQL underscore 2 access okay and then uh, server name is going to be localhost and the user is root so root is a default user for MySQL password is admin. So admin is the password that I set while installing the MySQL in my system. So the project, so database name is project. So the project database I created. Okay. And uh, now test this connection, connection successful. Okay. Uh, click okay and click okay. Okay. Now let me just open the MySQL workbench but before that let me show the services okay go and open the services so click yes and if you look at the services MySQL let me search MySQL services it should be up and running okay uh, go to standard and just search this look MySQL 80 it is up and running status is running okay let me just close this and now I'm going to open my SQL workbench and I will uh, open a connection this connection I have already created okay if I edit this connection you will see the connection name is this host name is this uh, username is root password is admin so this is the password that i set while installing the uh, my sql in my system okay now close this now just click this test connection look the project database i have already created inside this project database i have some tables like employee table let me just query this table from employee project dot employee and run so this is what i have in the employee table now i'm going to open the microsoft access tool access application in order to connect to this my sql database okay now blank i'll click a blank okay file name is let me just uh, create a employee uh, employee database okay create and afterwards what i need to do i need to go to the external data and then i have to go to the new source data and then from other sources then odbc database okay 
and then I have to click this link link the data source by creating a link table okay so we are creating a link to this mysql table which is employee let's see how we are going to do it click ok now afterwards I have to select the data source which I have created just created so I have created this mysql to access data source so I will select this data source and I, now afterwards I have to select the table which I want to create a link so I want to create a link to my employee table ok click ok now I will click this uh, link table ok look it has displayed me the data ok employee data now I'm going to do some changes in my employee data ok for instance I want to remove this row which has employee ID 335 so for that what I need to do I need to delete from project.employee where employee ID equals to uh, 335 so 335 and semicolon at the end just delete this and one row has been deleted now let me just do select star from employee this employee ID doesn't exist now okay it has been deleted okay now let me just query this it has been deleted okay now what I need to do I need to just close this and open this again so this will automatically uh, show me the data okay now 335 employee ID does not exist in, in, in Microsoft Access okay so I hope you have gone through the process of creating a link between Microsoft Access and MySQL database uh, thank you so much and have a great learning.